So, recently I was playing like the whole night uh, war now, and eventually I got three games versus Protoss, the guy that runs uh, as the league. So this is the first game. There will be two more. That's the first video. So, it's a death row, and I'm playing 35th. I was trying it out, like the new updated version of it, more and more. And uh, he's playing, I'm not going to spoil it for now, and he's playing the Berlin Gruppierung. So, from the start, I was uh, moving some descent key and Spetsnaz, like around here, some forces around there, so just re regular, you know, the deployment. But, I never saw what is coming. He got this blob. And this is actually a blob of T-34s plus a bit of T-55s. And some just, you know, units just to uh, hold off the flanks. The problem is that T-34, actually, it has a kinetic gun. Which is at least strange, but okay. And uh, after the game, I looked at the Berlin Gruppierung deck, and it's actually possible to take 30 T-34s. So it's just an unbeatable, unstoppable uh, spam of very cheap tanks. I mean, you can obviously beat it, but if you know at least that it's about to come. So yeah, let's jump to the game. It starts pretty much like any game, we just win some units, no heli rush, no anything. But it's just about to come much more interesting. Let's speed up a bit. So I'm getting my units, some recon, entering his like first combat. And everything just looks fine. I got a spats now just to hold down to the Falschenjäger because it was kind of scary that he's gonna try to rush in here. And it's about to come. So I'm using the A helicopter just to scare him off. Trying to get some more ground, thinking about where his unit is, and then I see this type of shit. My friend actually told me that Protoss was like very upset that I called this a brain dead tactic in the end of the match, but I mean, it is a brain dead tactic. It's kinda effective, I cannot say it's like uh, dumb or so, but I mean, you don't really need to micro this stuff. And the next problem is that each of these units, the T-34 and actually T-55, considered by AI as a tank. So, it doesn't really care, like your tank, which uh, just fires, you know, automatically, it does not actually care what tank it is. So, it's not gonna prioritize, like, hitting T-55s. It will just hit any tank. So, yeah, I'm calling the Akula because... I have no idea how to stop it. Because look, I actually don't have any repairs, and the main problem is I don't have any cheap tanks. If that should be like 8th, like the US one, I could have brought a lot of uh, M60s, like TTS. And actually, it could be pretty easy win. But here, I do not have any cheap tanks. I have only the 64BV and the 64B, I guess. So obviously he just overwhelms me over here. <laughs> I can't even get my units uh, up to here. I'm trying my best at least to cut the route, but it doesn't actually help a lot. And next point is that I cannot actually remember at the moment of time how much does it cost. I thought it cost like 15 points. So this is exactly why it's like a stalemate here, because I have no idea how much does it cost. So Maybe he has, like, a lot of forces around. I mean, <laughs> kind of that stuff. So, I'm bringing the Akula. I'm getting a couple good hits here and there. With the Sun Thinkies and all that stuff. So, we're 
kind of making some stuff. I'm bringing the MiG-29 just to at least look around. But uh, right now, the specs, like Shoka, they actually been buffed massively. Especially the uh, Gatling guns on the airplane. So right now, helicopters are, like, they're just shitty. Because before, you can kill uh, basically any helicopter with the... Uh, only one plane, I guess, the Su-22, which is, in my opinion, is just stupid liver power, because, I mean, it's an old, very old plane, and it performs better than any plane in the game, because it can kill helicopters, it has best uh, cluster munition, it has best uh, HE, so just overall, I guess, like, the cost efficiency, it's like the best uh, plane in the game. So, here I'm just trying to get at least some ground, because, I mean, he just swarms me with KDA, which are very tanky squad, and they do not run for some reason, and lots and lots and lots of stuff. As you can see, his next wave consists from the same stuff that he just bought, and obviously I cannot kill him forever, I'm losing stuff here and there, and, I mean, <laughs> it's just how this game goes. Uh, I was so unlucky uh, with the, especially his A, because this book actually killed a ton of my airplanes uh, throughout the game. And next up, for some reason, right now, uh, I think it was actually before, but I mean, at least right now, uh, the ATGM squads in buildings, they almost never disclosed themselves, which was not a thing, a bit like... Uh, before, it was disclosed in itself the moment it fires the shot, and now it doesn't. In this book, <laughs> it's the second time in a row, actually. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's just count how many times this book is gonna hit. I'm still trying to get some ground, but actually, <laughs> right now he's trying to get uh, some ground, because he's just moving units further, and I actually, right now, had no idea what to do, because I know that he has very good air, and he has very good anti -air. So, I mean, I need something to stop him. Which is very hard to do with air. And I almost cannot use helicopters. Because he's just going to suicide a couple of MiGs. That's going to be the end. Or he's just going to bring more and more AA. Because he actually has a very good AA. And so, <laughs> a new blob arrives. Kinda had stabilized around here, which is actually not the case because I mean I don't actually have a lot of AA here because it all got lost in the previous battles. I don't actually have any supplies over there, so yeah. And I'm bringing, I keep bringing more tanks because I mean I can't actually see how the hell I will gonna hold around here because the next blob if they're gonna come here, that's gonna be the game over basically. I'm trying to bring a lot of mortars for the reason is because as far as I remember his tanks yep his infantry and a lot of his tanks had the reservist trait so they actually suffer a lot of uh, like suppression damage but it actually never worked out for some reason. Akula is trying to take some units out it actually managing to do it but the problem is this is like a hell of an investment 280 points and it's very vulnerable right now especially versus the uh, airplanes. And I cannot actually kill these tanks as fast as I need to. I'm trying to bring some stuff just to suicide it into the helicopter, because, I mean, I just have no idea how I'm gonna do it. Again, I'm getting just hit the, uh, <laughs> the A missile from the second book. Actually, I have no idea why they're so good right now. They're just, like, hitting every shot, <laughs> at least in this game. So I'm starting mortaring all I can see, all I cannot see, like anything that could possibly be mortared, because it was actually kind of a good idea, like to mortar the hell out of him, but it doesn't actually feel the problem that I cannot actually uh, have enough, like, low cost, kind of effective units just to stop him from doing this. Because in this map, if you lose, like, this point, like over here, you just dead, because you just cannot get back into the point. I was microing my helicopters, resupplying them, but I mean, it costs a lot. I know I'm gonna lose it. And 
if I'm not gonna like, kill a lot of his tanks, and still I have no idea how how many tanks he actually got around there. So as you can see, there's another blob. I was just so brain dead. I mean, what was uh, like you know what was the strangest part of it? It actually works. Like if you don't have cheap tanks, you cannot win this shit. Because I mean, what can you use versus it? You can use some helicopters, which is eh, not the best idea. Because I mean, helicopters, they're actually they're pretty bad, especially right now, because it's very easy to hit them. They are very inconsistent in their damage. If they get stunned, they just fly up. Not like here. It doesn't land. It actually flies up and down, up and down. This is like the main problem. You can't micro them, which you can actually do with tanks. And you can't kind of use uh, bombers because the uh, the American bomber, the I guess uh, F-111, the cluster bomber, it would be actually good, but you don't use it because it cannot kill any good tanks. This is actually right now was the interesting part. Yeah, okay, it's <laughs> not that part. I was actually so concerned that I thought that this is, was the T-34 in the game, and I was like, wait, the T-64 cannot kill the T-34? I guess I'll have the moment with this. I mean, it was so strange for me, because, I mean, if you're gonna keep the tanks from long distance, it's, it would be twice as hard to kill them. Yeah, obviously, they're not gonna kill a shit, but <laughs> at least you won't be able to kill them. So yeah, basically World War II era tanks were actually very effective because of the numbers. And as you can see, it just keeps going. If this game would last like much longer and I would not uh, try to do some desperate moves, I might have actually win this game just because... I mean, the moment when the spam blob stops... He actually has nothing like to use versus me. The problem is that this spam blob <laughs> will never stop. So yeah, my main problem was I was not able to make my own spam. Because actually I was never playing, first of all, for a long time, the Berlin Gruppierung, which was the X Ventrum, I guess. And secondly, I never seen this type of shit like at all. I saw a lot of different spams, but not with these 34s. No. I guess I saw it once, but it was like on the uh, zombie meta patch, so it wasn't actually like working very good. So yeah, that was actually a pretty smart idea to use this spam tactic. That <laughs> I mean, it is brilliant. You just you just buy the tanks and just uh, roam them to the front line. They're gonna die. They're gonna roam more. So yeah. <clears throat> so basically, he's taking more and more ground, and. I'm kind of trying to poke with the Akula from some distance just to kill at least something, because this is my only hope. Because if... Uh, I mean, I cannot overwhelm the spam tanks with tanks. It's very hard. And he actually is not a bad player, because, I mean, I was playing versus the Protoss like a long time ago, and he was like an easy win, like actually. Right now, he actually is pretty good, but uh, we're gonna see in our two games. Uh, how it actually went off. So here he just moves more and more and more units. This actually is U22, the best play in the game. I would actually love this shit to get nerfed, because it actually is so stupidly overpowered. It has so good ECM. It's fast enough. It has, I guess, the best cluster bombs in the game. Like, it's, I have no idea why the old plane is better than, I don't know, like F-15s, uh, MiG 29s, whatever, like F 16s, it's just like super old plane. And yeah, all I can do is just use a cooler at least just to stop him from uh, getting into my face with the all this amount. And what actually is uh, pretty cool, he actually tries to micro it. So yeah, obviously it started from like an absolute brain dead tactic, but actually he's trying to micro it and it makes it even harder for me to deal with it because I do not have any cheap. Uh, like spam tanks. BMDs, they're kind of good, but I mean, the second problem is, yeah, versus the, like the normal uh, gameplay, they're good. But versus the spam, it has only three conquers, which not gonna actually hit a lot. 
So, yeah. Same stuff. I'm just getting hit by the Strelas more and more. So, yeah. That was kind of bad stuff. I was actually trying to, like, tank one more shot to try to get the AT-64, but actually I get uh, double-tapped and that was the end of the Akula. I guess it's one more here, yeah. I had one more. So here, again, like, the absurd force of the, like, huge amount of tanks, one of, actually, the problem was that I was actually running out of ammo. So the Descent Tank Unit actually is, like, a very good unit because not like the American ones, they actually have very good anti-tank, uh, like, uh, rocket. Whatever, it's not anti-tank rocket, but how it's called, the... Um, you got the point, I, I forgot the word. With actually 20 penetration and actually pretty good accuracy, just remember the law, like, law 72, which is no accuracy, no penetration, and only 4 shots, which is, I mean, it's just stupid. So here, I'm just trying to hit him off, and as far as I remember, <laughs> this unit were actually out of ammo in the end. Because it's just, I mean, yeah. So here he just buys two fighters and he just kills it. That's it. And you cannot do shit about it. It's very hard to micro. Because you actually kind of need to guess when he's going to use it. And obviously a bogey. Like gets one more hit and second hit. And that was just so stupid. I was just losing planes left and right. So yeah, right now the helicopters they're actually very bad, like in micro because you actually need to micro them very good to keep them alive because I mean they're just dumb, and you actually need to somehow predict what the opponent gonna do because if you are not like thinking that okay. Right now, I'm just like overstaying with my helicopter. I need to pull it back down, like or just land it or pull back. So it's very likely that you're gonna get hit, and that's like the main problem. Because if you need a helicopter and it's right now it is in use, you cannot pull him back, while the opponent can just get a cheap plane. He can get you like one five five points uh, plane worth. And just overwhelm you. Here I was losing tanks in the fight versus the, uh, you know, versus my uh, opponent with the T-34s, uh, T-55. Again, those books, I actually want to see how many kills they've got because, I mean, they were just one moment when they were actually missing shots. It's going to be like a bit forward, but that would be like the only moment when these books didn't hit. They're just... Right now, they're just great. And these guys cannot hit any of his RPGs. And right now, well, he actually did a pretty good move. He weakened my forces with the very, very cheap tanks. Then he brought a bit more expensive tanks. And now, I'm basically uh, not actually out of tanks, but I'm very low on tanks. And I need to fight his good tanks. So yeah, that was actually a good move. Here, I was absolutely sure that he's gonna push around there, because... I mean, I saw two blobs, and now I know that there's going to be third and fourth and whatever. I have no idea how many forces actually he's got. So yeah, basically, I'm still trying to hold. I'm getting a Su-22, and it actually was not hit by the first rocket, but obviously the second one hits it. So yeah, this is the exact problem, because I cannot actually force him the fight that I want. Because... Kinda, I can use the mortars to smoke screen and then just move uh, behind the smoke. A lot of infantry. It could have worked, but the problem is that he has Falchum Jaegers, which are special forces. So I would need somehow to get into the smoke with the Santniki and some Spetsnaz, maybe to try to fight, first of all, his infantry, and then try to get some stuff. It was like two miss of the 65% and a loss of a plane with the great ECM. That was just so bad because the whole game was just not going in my favor. At some point I will try to make some desperate moves and we're gonna see if that's gonna help me. So yeah, actually the first desperate move. I was thinking like, okay, maybe he got some units here. For some reason I thought that, okay, 
maybe it's like anti infantry unit because he was spending so much around here. And actually, the spam continues as you can see, it's just never end. But here, I'm getting the side shot and I'm at my grenade, so yeah, <laughs> this tank is about to get lost, which was <laughs> not the great part. Here, the next blob arrives, and again, it's screening the T-34s and a couple T-55s just to, you know, just support fighter. The mortars were like raining down the whole game, but for some reason it actually cannot uh, force them to run away. I guess because they're resolute. No, they aren't. But, I don't know. This descent Mickey, they're just out of uh, AT rockets because, I mean, it's just impossible to beat. And I was trying to use the seed run, but he actually turned off the uh, books, and I got hit down by strelas, like literally the strelas, and the 40% TCM plane. He actually, he was very good at like using his uh, like the small a like man pads around here. So yeah, that that was actually great. So my lines are like keep collapsing because uh, I just have no tools to stop it. And I was so pissed off because, I mean, if I would, like, got beaten by some, you know, badass smart tactic, some, I don't know, airdrop or flanking maneuver, I would be fine with that. But when I got overwhelmed just by spam of the cheapest and the worst tank in the game, <laughs> that was so absurd. So here, my... One of my last tanks, or just try to keep fighting this shit, and it actually misses like multiple shots. They're actually special forces, so they're not good <laughs> at what they're doing. So I'm still trying to fight it, but eventually, like here, I already knew that I lost this game. I was just thinking <laughs> more like there was like anything that I could do better or not. Uh, I'm not sure. Was this the, uh, was this uh, division? I couldn't do any better. Because, I mean, if I would knew that this uh, stuff was about to come, maybe. But when you're blindly facing the uh, spam blob of the huge amount of the T-34s, I mean, it actually might become meta. I'm not sure, but at least it looks like that. Because I actually want to try it myself someday. I hate playing spam and playing versus spam, to be honest. But, eh. At least once, <laughs> I, I would love to try it. And again, to defend this stuff, he just brings one more T-54. And that's actually already a desperate move. I'm just trying to get at least some points, at least to try to hold uh, off, and it doesn't actually work that well, because I lost a lot of my air, and I cannot compete with his air, because this is like the cheapest bombers out there, and they're actually great, because you can get them at any point, they're kind of vulnerable, but they're effective, like, you don't actually think that this bomber could do a lot of stuff for you, but you don't actually, like, make him doing it, because if you're getting, like, an expensive plane, like, I don't know, F-16 or whatever, you actually want this plane to kill some damage, to kill some units, and this, this guys, I mean, they're just expendable, so you just use them, they deal some damage, good, they don't, whatever. So, yeah, <laughs> this is, like, the last, like, point when I'm holding, and that's basically very close to the ending of the game, because... I just have no units my, at my disposal, because he just basically overran me with the amount of units that he has. And now he's trying to use an air, while I already lost a lot of my air. Not all of it, obviously, but it doesn't gonna help me. I cannot afford to buy a fighter to defend from one plane where I'm getting pushed by the, uh, you know, <laughs> when I'm getting pushed by tanks. I'm trying to do some desperate moves, just getting the airborne infantry. Well, I know that there's a lot of A because, I mean, let's get a bit quicker because <laughs> it's very close to the end. Uh, but I just 
need infantry like ASAP. <laughs> and I'm getting it, but it doesn't actually make a lot of sense because obviously my small force is there, they've just overran around and I'm basically spending my units that was like mm, I needed to defend this point and just spending them to get at least some ground around here. And now <laughs> the second part of this scam comes here. This small vehicles, they are recon and they have 50 cal. And it's just a transport for the um for some recon, I can't remember which one. And <laughs> third type of spam is the cheapest bombers in the game. So I was just spammed on the ground, on the air, uh, like with tanks, the infantry, and so on. I mean, fighting spam is just painful. And it's, it, it's just disgusting, and it is actually painful. So, yeah, I'm trying to take this ground, because I can't actually see how many units he has. And I have no idea how many units is like around here, but obviously one cluster plane that's it this is the main problem of this shit like it, it should not have 10 uh, 10 like hp it should not have that uh, huge amount of ecm because i mean it's an old plane like very old plane not like you know like world war one but it's should not be definitely the best plane in the game for this price and for this effectiveness because i mean this is just I already said. It is very great at killing any hel helicopters. It has great bombs, the cluster, the HE ones. It's just the best plane. Because uh, some might argue like why I do not consider the I guess the Nighthawk as the best plane in the game. Because if you play versus somebody like a bit higher level. I guess like top 200 or top whatever. Uh, for example, you are playing from this side, and somebody is using the uh, Nighthawk. You just reverse the map like here, and uh, just play from that side by but by this point of view. So you just hear the moment that opponent actually is getting the uh, Nighthawk, and you just grab your fighters from the hotkey, and they just kill it immediately. Because the stupid mechanic that Eugene cannot fix is the sound with the, uh, like, you can hear uh, units of the opponent even in the fog of war. So here I'm kind of getting back, getting back some ground, but the main problem actually still exists because right now he has a lot of good tanks. He still has some of, somewhat like a good infantry, and he's already at my point. I'm getting some Ichi Bombers just to, I mean, clear at least something out there. But that was actually, I guess, first the SU-25 first good run, because it actually <laughs> made the coop miss every shot, and that was actually great. Because it was the only, uh, my only usage of the SU-25 in this game that was actually kind of effective. Here was not actually really bothering with the like movements and all that stuff because I mean I knew the game was lost because I lost every uh, battle versus the spam uh, because if you spam infantry like this there's not a lot of stuff what you can do uh, especially when you had to deal with it like for 30 minutes or so uh, so yeah that was actually <laughs> kind of the situation that I've got into. This is actually basically, you know, just desperate moves just to run somewhere, do whatever. Which is, again, why are they moving? Like, really, what's wrong with them? They not they just not hitting from the, like, they are landed. That whatever. The helicopters and basically air in this game is, like, very messed up. Because you can actually kill with the man pets the uh, Nighthawk. Which is at least stupid, because, I mean, it's impossible. And you still can do it. Because if you're gonna see, like with an aeroplane, the uh, Nighthawk, the Iguas can actually hit it. Because the AA is not, uh, like, it's not leveled by the uh, amount of distance it could travel up to the height. It's only 
uh, has like the range but not the height of it uh, so yeah the first game was a loss so it's like Protoss the real guy and actually it was pretty dumb so I had a huge amount of kills basically for every of my unit as you can see they were trading pretty good the problem is that each of these trades most of them were not efficient because he can lose like a lot of units actually he was doing pretty good too but this like his books and hoops oh my god but the problem is he could have lost a lot of units like i guess by just unit count he lost as far as you can see maybe maybe more maybe less i'm not sure it's hard to tell i guess maybe mm, maybe it's actually even or maybe he actually killed more i don't really want to count like every unit for this i don't know it looks like eh, i don't know whatever i think the amount of units that he has and actually it's pretty smart so he basically overwhelmed me with the 34s <laughs> which was like i was so upset about it uh so yeah in the end they wrote i uh, wrote him that uh something like oh my god uh you can actually win with the branded tactics and uh <laughs> he was so mad about it so i mean Protoss, if you if i offended you somehow <laughs> sorry but i mean it's actually is a brain dead tactic so yeah that was the end of the first game and thanks for watching so after the recording i actually found the that exact same moment when i text him in the game and as you can see it says oh my god brain dead spam can actually win gg i have no idea why he got so pissed off about it because i mean protoss it was actually a brain dead spam <laughs> which you can actually win with so yeah that's it